So I posted a 20 minute YouTube review on the Silynx Claris Pro earbuds. And Silynx, in their infinite coolness, decided to thank me by sending me a free box of goodies. So we'll briefly check out the goodies and then give each of them a short review. And if you were wondering, yes, it is Christmas in July. So without further ado, I see we tear this thing open. It's the packing uh, tape is pretty cool. It's got their logo on it. I dig that. Always cut away from yourself. Yes. I am excited. Let's see what this is. Let's hope I didn't cut anything. Nope. Okay, so we got ourselves some bubble packing. Excellent. Very nice. Oh yeah, these things are cool. Nice patch. Check. Sticker. Check. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so we've got one of these Vapor Element, the anti-bottle jug. Can't wait to review that. That's going to be pretty cool. These. Oh yeah, I'm making jealous. Sweet hat. Oh man, I hope it fits. Yeah, it should fit. Oh, nice breathable. Yeah, that is sweet. Look at that puppy. We're reviewing that. Oh, and last but not least, we've got ourselves the Silynx knife. Awesome. Very awesome. Uh, I can't thank them enough. All right, let's get to kind of checking each one of these things out and uh, I don't know, put them through a few paces. We'll see what, uh, see what we can come up with. Anyway, thank you, Silynx. You rock. And I'm sure I'll say it again. You rock. Awesome. So I wanted to do uh, kind of a little discussion on the hat first, since I'll be, you know, probably wanting to wear it while I discuss the other goodies that they, uh, that they sent me. Anyway, this is a uh, flex fit hat. There's their... Uh, Little logo there. Um, they did a really good job on this. I must say this is uh, the nicest hat I've ever owned. Uh, the material is a spandex and polyester blend made in uh, Bangladesh. And uh, man, it, it is super soft and pliable. And I um, wanted to kind of compare this material a little bit to another hat that I wear uh, because it's kind of a ultra hot weather uh, material. So first off, this is uh, my other hat and you can kind of clearly see that um, I put it up to the camera and kind of still see me through it. So I wanted to kind of compare that to how well you can see me through this. So this is a little bit tighter weaving, but same basic material. I'll grab a flashlight here and aim it through it so you can still kind of see it's not a solid fabric. Um, so I thought that was uh, really excellent, and I wasn't quite sure if this thing would actually fit because most baseball caps don't. I've got an enormously large head, so uh, large to extra large uh, seems to seems to do the trick there. Um, and as far as the stitching was concerned, I mean, you can kind of see that um, they did an extra good job of uh, doing all the tight stitching work on it. Now it is only single stitched, like around the the brim here, um, they've got like this double stitch pattern, but it doesn't seem to actually uh, do anything to necessarily reinforce the fabric to the bill. As you can see on the bottom side, um, it's just a flat piece, whereas on these hats, typically you've got a whole string of uh, stitching that kind of runs through them. So it's, uh, it's almost kind of a golfer's hat, I guess you could say. It's really nice, so they're only charging about 20 bucks for these. Um, and uh, you can see the icon there of the Lynx, the medium-sized Bobcats, if you wanted to call it that. And it's the uh, soft Velcro portion of it. So you can take their emblem patch that they sent me. It's a uh, vinyl made really, really nice. And uh, yeah, it just lays across there like that. 
or any other really patches. It's it's your standard sized patch. And uh, yeah, I can't really think of uh, there was too much more I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look what's missing. That pain in the butt metal ball that they normally put on the tops of hats. Uh, it's not there. So yeah, very happy, very happy about that. Fits well, looks nice. If I can uh, get the camera to cooperate. Of course, it normally doesn't with my mug. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for this. This is awesome. My new shooter's cap. Sweet. Uh, hold on. I wasn't done. The embroidery. Super sweet. Yeah, so check out this uh, water bottle they sent me from Vapor. It's the Element, the 23 ounce uh, version of it. But uh, yeah, here let's uh, take this thing out of the case here. It's uh, got a super cap, durable three ply construction, taste free and odor resistant, dishwasher safe and BPA free. Very cool. So I wanted to do a bunch of tests with this thing and put it through some crazy paces, but I. Got to look it on YouTube and a bunch of people have already done that. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just stick to just kind of going over the basics with this thing. Once you fill it up, you can stand it up, which is kind of neat. And uh, so that it's not taking up space, you can roll it and then use the carabiner top on there to kind of lock it in. So I thought that that was really neat so you can keep it all compact and stored up in your gear before... Uh, actually filling it up which is pretty cool because most people carry camelbacks anyway but uh, if you just had to fill up a small amount of water or needed to leave your gear behind you could at least take something that's uh, really fast and uh, easy to use so it's not just one of those things where you undo the top and then drink from it like most of them they've just got a really gnarly uh, o-ring there so you tighten it up and uh, while you're hiking with it and clip it on to the side of your gear or onto, the, onto your pants or whatever and then uh, to actually drink from it I thought that was really neat it's got a uh, top open and a uh, sipper on there yeah so this thing's pretty pretty stinking neat and then of course they did a little silk screening work with their links on there so uh, yes thank you very much this thing is uh, this thing is really cool and it's made in America and uh, us patriots, we absolutely love that. Cool. Okay, so last but not least is their Silinx knife. This thing runs about $95. However, it was made in conjunction with Benchmade and anybody familiar with that company knows that these are absolutely top of the line. So uh, just a few things about it. It's got kind of this carbon fiber um, grip on the sides of it feels almost like a like a bone almost or something like that I think you kind of get the idea um, it wasn't constructed with any rivets at all everything's done with these Torx wrench screws um, all the way around it so this thing is uh, definitely not going to fall apart by any means um, the knife itself is extremely sharp I was able to get some uh, you probably can't see it but it it shaves hair there's a cute little bald spot you can kind of see in the light <sighs> okay that was nice <sighs> anyway yeah so this uh, release button is super tactile and, and positive that's what i like about that so you know that once you start working with this thing it's not gonna come loose on you and i know i don't have that great of uh, picture pagination on my uh, refresh rate on my camera so i'll just show you this you can pull this thing down and <laughs> still flip it uh, I guess it takes a second to totally get that down, but uh, yeah, this thing is is absolutely nice And you can tell by the shape of it. It looks kind of like their Silinx logo, doesn't it? <laughs> I thought that was really neat and the functionality of it actually is a uh, Small flat head larger flat head and then of course a bottle opener for all your beer needs unless you're in Mexico And you want to have a uh, coke or something, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It kind of has a similar um, sort of a silence sort of look to the to the front of it too but overall as uh, sort of compact as this thing really is um, there's a, kind of a few ways to hold it to really get a nice positive feel to it but if you needed something small to attach to your keys or something 
um, to keep inside of your gear that you know you're not going to use for anything but uh, say meat products as we'll just uh, put it that way um, yeah yeah so thank you very much uh, this is uh, this is exactly what I was hoping that uh, <laughs> I get sent when you mentioned it uh, and I wanted to kind of add a little something to this um, there is some question as to what the psi in psi lynx actually means okay we know that the lynx is a medium-sized cat and it if you trace the etymology of that word back a ways uh, you get to the reflection of the cat's eyes or something like that so uh, yeah okay so we get that but the psi we weren't really uh, sure what that was so first thing I kind of came up with was um, that the whole entire word itself sounds like silence or whatever except that it's kind of a an enhancement not really a an earplug so I wasn't really sure if that's uh, how it was kind of defined the other thing I thought of was <clears throat> like a cybertronic enhancement i know enhancement starts with an e but anyway trying to get the human ear to be able to hear as well as say uh, some of the other animals in our kingdom here it's also an abbreviation for silicone which doesn't make any sense it's a spanish word for yes so yes links i couldn't really figure that out and as a medic the uh, sacroiliac joint or sacroilium uh, is si and then there's a country with that abbreviation as well so it's going to have to remain a mystery uh, <laughs> anyway um yeah had a lot of fun with these and uh, i'm very thankful for them and uh yeah i appreciate the gift you guys are totally awesome and uh yeah i look forward to buying more things from you and dealing with you in the future but uh yeah Awesome. Thank you. All right. So uh, all silliness aside, I decided, uh, you know, maybe I might want to do some kind of a field test, you know, at least with the uh, bottle opener. So uh, it just happened to be beer 30. And I figured, you know what, what better time than to test the bottle opener on this. So, yeah, nice, uh, smooth and easy. And uh, yeah, very nice. Let's see. Mm hmm yeah tastes just fine it works awesome <laughs> thank you again